Gemini. Gemini, welcome. Um, don't know about you guys and what you're experiencing lately, but uh, I don't know. It seems like there's relationship blow-ups everywhere during this Mercury retrograde. There is, um, I know my electronics have been messing up all over the place. Just weird stuff going on right now, and I'm just like, is anybody else having this kind of weird stuff go on? But uh, let's get into a general read for you. We're going to start off and we see the uh, King of Pentacles. This is followed by the Tower, the Ace of Swords, and the Four of Cups. What I'm hearing is, is that somebody may have been knocked off their pedestal. And because of the hit that that's had, it can also uh, create the emotion of like, mm, what's the point with the Four of Cups here? The Ace of Swords, you know what, you kind of better figure that out sooner or later so that it doesn't become, so that you can re-strategize and sort of regain your throne. Now when we look to the desire, we see the world. Now the world card has come out for almost every read that I have done in the last two weeks. It is really interesting to see this card continually come up. <clears throat> oh, the Four of Swords almost fell out when, when I was starting to do the pre-shuffle and it's showing up now. So with the world here, we see this as a desire is to start something new, to start into a new chapter. Um, a new chapter where I hear the words more authentic. Even though I have the Four of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Five of Swords, when I look at the Five of Swords, I hear more authenticity. So being able to... Um, take stock, reevaluate, think things through, and kind of sort through the chaos that can be around. So let's look at the possible outcome, and in the future, we have the strength card. Let's clarify before I start the commentary. Things are changing. They may, with the temperance card here, ten of wands and the seven of swords, it's been a bit of a rough ride or it can be a bit of a rough ride as things change and shift at this particular point in time. It may feel very, very heavy with the Ten of Swords, and it may feel uh, a little bit unfair where you're actually taking on or may feel like you're, you're getting more than your fair share. What's working for you? We have the Ten of Swords. Uh, that's too many cards. So we have the Ten of Swords that's working for you. <sighs> too many cards again. Uh, that'll work. Followed by the Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands. Whatever is over is now allowing you to focus on the things that you like to do or your vocation with the Eight of Pentacles. For some of you, you may be going back for like an apprenticeship and have that start with the Ace of Pentacles, some type of new work. Um, with the Nine of Wands, it's been a bit of a grind. So for some of you, maybe this whole joblessness thing is now ending and you're finding something that is going to be more suitable for you. The Seven of Wands, is what you need to be aware of. We have the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. You may have a focus on success and be um, uncompromising is the word that I, that I hear, is uncompromising in the way that you're approaching it. Um, it's like you're really forcing uh, things through towards the success and like nothing's getting in your way. And it, it, the words I hear is it's coming, it has to come in a specific way or you don't want it at all. The Seven of Cups shows up. It shows up with the Queen of Pentacles, the Lovers and the Six of Swords. There may be a lot of options out there or confusion. And you're pa being patient with things when it comes to love. Or maybe you've got a lot of um, options that way. Where 
you're looking for that solid, that solid option. And we do have the king and queen of pentacles on the table plus the lovers. So you're looking for that solid option where this person uh, lifts you. They start to uh, create that... Um, oh, how do I want to put it? Power couple. And things go better with the Six of Swords. So, a bit of an interesting read. Excuse me. I'd be curious as how this Mercury retrograde and this uh, eclipse is affecting people. <sighs> Pardon me. But best of luck this week. We'll see you next time. Stay safe.